So, ladies and gentlemen, we just got off the train. We are in Burnley. Don't be fooled by the Manchester Road. We are definitely in Burnley. Let's go and have a look deep in the Lancashire countryside on a very nice day, 25 degrees. We're going down to the town centre and just to give you context, Blackburn, Preston, Skipton that way, Halifax and Rochdale that way and so is Manchester that way. And uh, first impressions coming out of the station, well, there's a lot of trees, there's a vast amount of trees and you're greeted by a real cinema and the Burger King, but hey, we're on the outskirts, I'll show you the real town. Ooh, nice pine tree down into Burnley town centre I've got three species of pine for my horticulturalist viewers you've got this one that one then you've got this one and then my favorite of the three you've got this one Christmas vibes ho 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 busy in Burnley it's 11 o'clock on the weekday notably a Tuesday and it is very busy but then again, it's not a small town, it's a medium-sized town with a population of 73,000 according to the 2001 census. Burnley was massive in the Industrial Revolution, one of the largest producers of um, cotton manufactured goods, you know, sheets, clothes, and uh, it was very powerful and very rich. And then, of course, the decline came. So I hope to capture a bit of the faded glory but of course, I know what all my viewers want. You guys want the decay in 4K, to borrow a phrase from the Fritz Media Channel. Obviously, you guys recognize this if you know what these sort of things are. This is a, a canal wharf, you know, covered so that what they're moving, grain, textiles, cotton, doesn't get rained on. I'll do a little zoom in for you so you can see the shadowed region. And again, this is all big from the 17, 18 and 1900s. Look at that got to say that in on the wharf this lovely pub is of course in full decay now it's abandoned Burnley Wharf 1801 it's all shut down all shut down so much potential all the buildings are here and did you know that central Burnley has 170 grade 1 and grade 2 listed buildings here at Finsley Gate car sales Anyone want a second-hand car? And across the road, some nice big old building, and it's now action for ASD, Autism Support Centre. And we're hot on the trail of the Burnley Magistrates Court. We can't be too far because the solicitors are here. For the international audience, that is your lawyers and attorneys. Just uh, had a nice wee under the bridge. Appears to be Burnley Town Hall in the distance there behind the 1960s beautiful buildings. <coughs> National Tires and Auto Care. Just nice to know where it is. It's near the Magistrates Court, which uh, will reveal itself any moment now. Maybe it's under that radio tower over there. Cheap parking in Burnley, look. It's like a junction. Yeah, it's, uh, oh God, yeah. So look, in Burnley, the canals are so civilized, they are actually cobbled. And let me show you a fish, because uh, viewers like fish. Where's the fish? There's a fish. Is that in there? Oh yeah, he's just fish. under. Oh, there he is. There he is. By that kind of fucking there. Yeah. Wait. I think I've um. Wait. Let me zoom out a bit. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get you guys a. Oh, there he is. Don't drop your phone in the river, Charlie. There he is. There's fishoid. There he is. What kind of fish is that, viewer? A Burnley Canal fish. Industrial. Three eyes. <laughs> yeah, he's, in, he's swimming uphill because he's getting some nice factory detritus. <laughs> oh, the law, the law patrolling around dangerous Bronx. I mean, Burnley, it's the Bronx. The cattle market. Cattle market is what you used to call in Edinburgh any bar or nightclub that catered to teenagers. It would be a you know, meat market, cattle market. It's not the magistrates, this is actually the cop shop. The Lancashire Constabulary and we zoom in to loads of police vehicles we come out and uh, yeah nice building nice building police inquiries yeah it looks quite nice actually automatic door and everything look little uh, Archway of the rising sun above the window. Very popular amongst architects who work with a uh, stone and masonry. Burnley Town Centre. Let's find the you are here. 
Can anyone see a you are here? You are here. Police station and mag look at that. You're proven guilty already. They've put the magistrate's court and the police station together. That, uh, that gets my um, anti-corruption juices flowing. Anyway, as always, we don't go on a route. We just literally get lost and we're going to get lost in Burnley. A Walker Solicitors Firm, right opposite the police station. You've got, how do I pronounce that one? Enga, no, NGA, sorry, NGA Solicitors here outside the, oh, wow, some random park. This looks nice. First of all, I want to see, just a quick one, if this here is the entrance to the magistrates. There's me in the window, hello. Yeah, let's an, an entrance to courts this way. Anyway, look at that public library. Looks amazing. Very nice. They've kept the trees and everything. Look at that. Burnley is beautiful. Place de Vitry sur Seine. There's some uh, French town that's twinned. Oh, wait. Let's have a look at the court and then I'll show you guys the Soviet mosaic. So you've got entrance to court here. Hello, sir. This is the beautiful Burnley Magistrates Court. Look at that metal detectors and everything. Beautiful. And let's see when it was opened and who it was opened by. It was opened by in 1955. Wow, done in the very old style. By Guillem Lloyd George MP, the Home Secretary. Well done, Lloyd. Ah, oh, the CIA, you know, Central Intelligence Agency at Langley. You okay? So what's it like working in the court? Oh, he's gone, he's gone. Northern towns love a nice mosaic. And uh, to go along with their pretty colorful mosaic, they always put some turd-like statue. It's like, you know, the artist, He's working here with copper, copper oxide, and he's made third children. Not third, not an Irishman saying first, second, third. No, these are literally third children. Fecal matter kids. What the hell? Sergey, yes, Vlad, speak to Olga. We get good harvest, good wheat harvest today in the Odessa region. We get, uh, yes, grain, grain for the consumer. Memorial's been, well, fallen over, toppled, removed. But we come around here, you see there's uh, you know, they, they remind you of the glorious past, the faded glory of the miners. And of course, around Burnley, you can see all the coal fields. Everything in red is a coal field. That's a lot of coal. And uh, these poor men, these poor men, like, you know, you know, they're like, you know, work in the most extreme conditions and then enjoy your retirement. You're all seized up. You've got arthritis, Parkinson's, respiratory problem from all the coal dust. And then you, at least you get a nice memorial. At least they put your name on a wall. The wall of DC to remind us all that of all the 58,000 people that died in Vietnam. Sorry, getting my stories mixed up. But uh, Place de Vitry sur Seine, as you see, what a good day for this sort of thing. What a lovely day. A little bit of detail. The public library does look amazing. I even like the plants at the top, giving it that rustic thing. And again, they can't help themselves. The I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but uh, lots of depictions of workers and giant cockerels. Birdman. Birdman's working. Hmm. Nice uh, Star of Solomon here in the pattern and shoes, shoes, but look at the library. Who would have thought? Goodbye, England's Rose. Burnley with a beautiful woman on the bench, and uh, but she's very modest, so she refuses to be filmed, which is fair enough. But uh, could you tell me a little bit about Burnley, what it's like, what the minor history is? You know, why is there so many big listed buildings here and why is it a bit quiet these days? <laughs> be a cotton mining town. Thank you. Speak up a tiny little bit. They used to mine yeah. a lot of coal, Hapton Valley Colliery, yeah. um, Bank Hall Pit. Yeah. And was it a big industry here, like all the men? And... It was a very big industry. And yeah. what happened when Thatcher took it away? Well, mm. what do people do nowadays? Like? Well, 
try and do what they can like everybody else. That's true. And are you a Bernlonian? I am. Is that correct terminology, is it? A Burnleyan? Burnleyite. Burnleyite? Yeah. Like, uh, very good. And uh, what, what brings you to the town centre today? What are you doing here today? Mm, doing a bit of shopping. Yeah, hanging out in the sunshine. We're in the shade, but yeah. nice day for it. No, I like the shade. I don't like the sun. Excellent. So for happy-go-lucky tourists like myself and my friend here, what do you recommend we go and do now? I recommend that it takes you up to Townley. Townley? Townley Hall. Townley Hall. Not, not yeah. this town hall, a different Townley. No, no, it's a different Townley. I think you might know where it is. It's quite a walk from here. Okay. But it's very interesting. Townley Hall. It's a very big museum. We're going to check it out. Thank you very much. And there's a very big memorial to the First and Second World War. Not like that one over there. Not that, that boring little one, the proper no. one, a proper memorial. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Can I have your first name? Just your first name? My first name is Sheila. Sheila? Yeah. Thanks, Sheila. My name's Bruce. No, it's not. No, it's Charlie. Yeah, no, Thank it you. Is. Cheers. <laughs> In the 1800s, I'll go wide as uh, Fritz Media suggests he is right. In the 1800s, uh, there was one big bank here that did all the mills and the factories and the textiles. It was called Holgate Bank. It went bust. The town suffered as a result of the bankers leaving. But then they built and created Burnley Building Society. Now, it's just another name for a bank. That's all it is. We're here again at the public library and I couldn't help noticing they have a rainbow circle here. The campaign for homosexual equality held its first public meeting here in the struggle for LGBT plus rights on 30th of July 1971. The question I have to ask madam, is Burnley a gay town? I don't think so. Fair enough. Yeah, Manchester's a gay town, she's right. It's worth having a super quick look here in the Red Rose of Lancashire. So we're in the library and um, we are decided. This flag has every color. <sighs> okay, um, yeah. I don't know, madam. I think Burnley's a gay town. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. The flags in there say, don't, don't be a monster. Be yourself. Anyway, well done to Burnley. There's a lot of trees, a lot of trees. But then you look over the road and you're like, whoa. Fair enough. There's the remains, the remains of the brutalism that occupied men's minds as architects in the 50s, 60s and 70s. No entry for vehicles. Now the question is, what is towelology? Ragology. Kitchen clothology. Towelology. What is the hell is towelology? Hey mate, what's towelology? I ain't got a clue, man. He doesn't know. Even the Bernlonians don't know. <laughs> <laughs> wait. Wait, we got sockology, towelology, and duveism. So Guess what? I think it's textiles from the good old days. Yeah, betting shops. Um, you know, a lot of pedestrianization, but look at this. They've put a bit of effort in. A lot of nice things. Tattoo parlor. Where's the vape shop? Okay, nails, nails. We got gambling, nails, tattoos. We just need the vape shop and then we're, we're ready for a British high street. But um, that graffiti is, uh, yeah, it is what it is. I think we're approaching some sort of main drag. Of course, the white lion. Which town would be complete in England without a white lion? But surely it's the white horse. The red lion's the one you really want. But anyway, when people, you know, when you've got to defend yourself and you've got your boots on, you should drink in the boot in. You should stick the boot in and you'll be all right. Look at this. Look at this happy man. Hey, you having a good point in the boot in? You all good? So I think we're in the dead center of Burnley now. I think we're here. I disagree. Pay cash, stay anonymous. Law guys, the law. The long arm, the long blonde arm of El Law. Welcome, welcome to the immediate. Oh, there's the, there's the vaping shop. I told you it would come. Welcome to city center Burnley, town center. Uh, not enough trees, too much paved over concrete. And that's about it. But uh, we'll have a little wander down. We'll pass some 1960s buildings. We'll pass some more listed buildings. 
and we're on the search for an epic shopping mall or something. Okay, beautiful Burnley. Uh, the Burnlows. The Burnoids. Eastwood Burnley, coach and motor house proprietors. Coach and motor proprietors, okay. Main drag, I keep getting drawn to this monstrosity. Sorry, I'm gonna stop panning up there. The Swan, Swan is an oldie. Proper oldie. It's about 300 years old, pretty good. And again, where's all the trees gone? Where are the trees? Charter Walk Shopping Centre. Look, at, I just want to show you guys the Burnley cafe culture, the French Riviera. Everyone in shorts and t-shirts, sandals, having a beer, having a cafe latte, having a little drive around on this mobility scooter. Life is good. News, great news everybody. This refurbished vaccination centre is reopening on Monday the 4th of April at 9.30. Thank God. Thank God for that. It's great news. Look at them. Le Legoland Station. Oh, I'm a tourist. Don't worry about me. It's fine. It's okay. Don't worry about it, ladies. Don't worry about it. Thank you. Thank you for letting me enjoy my freedom in your wonderful great British country. There you go. One, you know, covered walkway passes and we're here at the Burnley Market Hall. No trip to Burnley would be complete without an investigation into a covered market. Okay, we're making progress. We're upstairs. Look at that. It's still very 1960s. The whole thing here is very 60s. But then again, it's expensive to knock it all down and rebuild it. I'm excited, guys. Burnley Covered Market, established 1924. I need to actually duck down to get in here. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Oh my God, it's looking a bit, looks a bit desolate. You're on TikTok, mate. You're on TikTok. I'm on TikTok, yeah. Yeah, right, mate. First impressions of Burnley, not bad, you know, small, smallish, actually, no, quite large ish town, not a city. But one thing I have noticed in my pattern recognition is that there are, seems to be more blonde, blue eyed people in Burnley than the national average. I'm seeing a lot of blonde, blue eyed people. Must have been a stronghold of the Vikings when they came down from Scandinavia with all their blonde hair and blue eyes. There's a lot of it here. So, just spoke to the construction guy. The crack, the cracky is trying to grab these metal poles and hit them with it. I kid you not. Oh, I'm am ju just a tourist. Ignore me. I'm I'm just a tourist. Just not a tourist. Bad. Just film this, yeah. What happened? Don't oh wait! Don't, whoa, 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 whoa! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! What's I'm full scaffolding, yeah. Yeah? Apparently it's him over head. Who hit who? Apparently it's him. What, the construction over workers? Over head with scaffold. Did you get hit over the head with a scaffold? That's what he said. Fair enough, fair enough. But he didn't. Fair enough. He didn't. All right. All right. He didn't. Anyway, we should, leave, we should leave these hardworking men to carry on with their normal job. We should, shouldn't we? I know. So we've approached the end of the pedestrianised bit of St. James's Street. It carries on. You can see a nice old mill tower. Industry. Mm. And Curzon Street, where the Marks and Spencer is, looking down there. And uh, there's more. But wait, there's more. Some amazing viewers have said there's an estate called Stoops. Stoops Estate, which we should check out. We'll try. The Burnlonians who watch this will be severely disappointed if we say that we're going to do something and not do it. So we'll definitely try. Empire buildings. Now look at it. 
Now where there's crackies, the police come. Who's getting questioned? Look at these fine Bernlonians, look at this. What's going on here? Um, half Scottish, half Brazilian, from Manchester now though. In your town am I? Am I in your town? Is this a local town for local people, is it? I'm local. Are you locals? I'm local. Nice, well thank you for not shaking my hand, leaving me hanging and being a dick. I will. Yeah, I'm a YouTuber, so I need to, I make money off this bit. Yeah, sure. We are, but he just literally throwing punches attacked me, tried to knock me over inside. Marks and Spencer's. Inside Marks and Spencer's. Yes. Well, we were outside. He took offence with me doing my vlog. Said, "Oh, you're not allowed here. It's a local town for local people." Give us one second. Give us one second. You want to talk? You want to talk to us in a sec? You're offended his mother, mate. Sound guy here. I'm going to speak to him. All right. Oh, so it's happening inside every day. Yeah. No, we, we went to use the toilet. He goes, he goes, me and my friend. He goes, where the f are you going? I said, I'm going to your mother's house. I shouldn't have said that, but he'd already insulted me. Blah blah blah. And he came inside, started throwing punches. I didn't get it on video, I had my phone in my pocket. Have you got it on video? You defended your mother's honor. No, not you, not you, not you. No, you didn't. You came up. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, go on. What's your name, buddy? Charles Veach. So you're a tourist? Well, yeah, I'm a YouTuber. But I'm, I'm a, dude, hey, man. How's it going? Thank you. Thank Are you, you loving today? I am loving today. I thank you for watching. What's, what's your name? You. V E I. Yeah. TCH. What's going on? What's your update? Some guy just oh, attacked me. You? Yeah. For what's videoing. Uh, the bag head? Uh, the ba yeah, the guy with Charles, the beard. What's your date of birth? 050880. This is my hero, people. Charlie. Thanks, mate. Thanks for watching. Charlie Veach, get on YouTube. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Take care. In Brazil? Yeah, born in Brazil, but I'm Scottish Brazilian. That's Scott British. I'm British from birth as well. If I did something wrong, Never see me again. Never see me again. What a liar! Came at you for. Okay. 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 Oh. Are you alright, Yeah, mate, yeah. How are you? Huh? I'm alright, mate. You good? Yeah? You didn't get locked up, I think. I don't. I, I don't know. Has he attacked you? Yeah. Well, he, he, he's going to get locked up then, isn't he? I don't know. It happened five minutes ago. When I shouted police, it was literally ten seconds before that. Come back to about quarter past. You waited by the okay. exit for him to come. Oh, he's, here. Uh, he's, uh, he's probably filming somewhere. Do you need him? I'll just don't want him to. Oh, he's over here, he's over here, he's over here. It's not one thing that's going Yeah, all, we, all, all I want is to walk around town and not get attacked. But if, but basically, he wait, went in there to use the loo, had my poo, came out, and he was waiting for me, and he came charging towards me. And he was coming towards me massively, so I, I pushed him back, but then he started Why throwing. Why charging towards you? Because he's mentioning his mum. He goes, where the fuck are you going now? I said, to your mum's house. I shouldn't have said that, but he was being rude. I tried to shake his hand. He wouldn't shake my hand. He goes, fuck off. This is well, a We're going to go check CCTV. That's we're going to see. See, there's multiple people. Oh, go on. I'm happy to be enlightened. Listen, 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 sure. I'm happy to hear your version. Wait, wait. Wait, I'll come and talk to you in a sec. All right. Talk, interact, talk, interact with people. Why are people walking by? Okay. That's okay. what we're getting the feeling. We're on that. Okay. Well, 
over to the offence. No, but what section have we been detained under? You've been detained while we while we ascertain whether there's been any offences committed. Okay. So I'm a, I've reported the victim. There's, there's, there's a public order offence going on, regardless, yeah. isn't there? I don't know whether he's been the victim or not. I've watched the video. So we're not talking about the 18. He attacked me. You're staying here right now for that reason. We're doing that right now. I'm being detained. Thank you. Thank you for telling me my job. I'm being detained. Of course, 077. And where do you live? Uh, Salford. I'm happy to I'm going to comply no, with everything. I'm a famous it, YouTuber. I'm happy it. to comply with everything. I don't everything. think you're famous, pal. Audible 7. No. 2 0. 2 0. 4 0. 4 0. 9 5. 9 5. 4 6. 4 6. And I'm nothing against. I'm friendly with the police. Yeah. In, um, Same I'm time never. Time, yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Do you want to tell us where you can get through there without wagging? So oh, awesome. uh, we, we don't need the ballers down. I've been detained. But I've been detained by the. Police. I don't know what the. No, I'm happy to wait. Uh, did you get my sunglasses from the floor? Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. And again, nothing against you guys personally. It's just that I have been a victim. I've never gone to a town where I'm attacked with punches and trying to wrestle me to the ground within seconds of being in the city. I speak and argue with people all the time. It's me. Hello, how are you? Yeah, it's more. I'm being detained because a guy attacked me and the police have detained me. Sure. Yeah, he's a victim of crime and they've detained him, so that's the same whether there's any offences. No relevant legislation is just detained. I got two grand for this. It's, it just keeps happening. It's hilarious. I'm absolutely shocked. Lancaster are terrible. I've had you. I mean, I'm not going to. But I appreciate you've got to keep the peace, there's a lot of people going. Yeah, so of course, you have to understand, as a victim, my tempers are also a bit upset. Well, no, you know, yeah. You too. You know, you I said that to you earlier on. If you're in trouble... Yeah. Anyway, we'll be all right. I'm calm now. You know, you best stop. This is why people deal with things. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, you got attacked by a bunch of Oh, we got attacked by a you did? Well, it's inside the room. Do you wear the engine? Do you wear you? I think so. Yeah, I'm okay. I've got a scratch. I've got a scratch. And then I made the piece by leaving. You know, the guy kept trying. I am. Hey, I am. I've seen parts of the picture. It shows me he's having a bit of a fight inside it, but we don't see how it starts. I've got to get me yeah, go on. I cannot believe I'm being detained as a victim of an assault, and I came straight away. I, I well, ran well, away from him. He's also he's saying that obviously that what his side of it is, isn't he? Yeah, but you're uh, what your side is. So you is there any reasonable suspicion to say yeah. So, but he came into Marks and Spencer. He's, 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 he's showing me footage of two people fighting. Okay, okay. But he's but got trying evidence. To, we're trying to identify who started the fight. Okay, go in there to see. Okay, I'm still under detention. The officer in front of me, we're quite peaceful now. There's no issues here, but uh, they're still investigating and I'm still being held here in Burnley. So the aggressor who attacked me is being spoke, the beardy boy, beardy boy with the shaved head. Okay, I think they're talking about me. Sorry. So they've told them they've told them to stay It's free to go. It's free to go. Aren't they? I'm still being detained. They've checked the CCTV in M&S where I've been attacked, but an independent witness Hi. is probably saying porkies to try and get me in the SH1T. Which I'm shocked with. And Paul here to my left, who's been exemplary so far, he's re-detained me. We were walking back to the train station. We took the police advice to skip town and I'm being re-detained. Paul, is this, um, is this like a Lancashire law? No. Like where you can just detain people, like no relevant legislation or anything like that? Because I've still not been detained under a... 
like no formal detention, you just detain. Because usually you get you detained under the. You can, you can all you can detain, detain under arrest, can't you? Yeah, yeah well. that has to be for something under pace, surely. So you get out of order. I just want to have, you, have you evidence for of that offence? So explain along, it to so. I explained it to you earlier. I said straight away, there's public order offences that have been committed straight away, that's what I said to you. I don't think the video will show that. I don't think there's any evidence to suggest anyone has committed harassment or harassment. Except the, except the, except the other guy. There's multiple people mm. I've seen you fighting in there. Yeah. You've so shown me footage if of you two, of him and someone yeah. else fighting in there. Mm. I'd argue so that causes someone the logic. harassment alarm yeah, does, yeah. yeah, but, well, but I'm defending, but if I'm acting someone, in self-defense, hello. Argue, I argue the offence is going because we need to deal with what we've got, which is a career. Can, can I please, because you guys are recording, can I please record as well? He is, he is. You can't record because at the moment you're under suspicion of committing a section 5 public order offence. So take, put that down. Okay, sir. I'm currently under detention in a van. There, um, I'm being issued a Section 5 public order notice for arguing with people in public.